Hello everyone, it's Joel Clark, and welcome to the 10-minute fist hour. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just getting on here really quick. Uh, the first video thing of the new year. I'm really excited. I'm still aiming um, for a February Kickstarter release uh, for Acid and Steel, which means I really got to get busy writing the fucking thing. Uh, so this is my weekend. We just started it. And what I'm going to be doing is, um, well, light exercise and self-maintenance lar largely and, you know, like cleaning my house and everything. But also, um, I'm going to be uh, filling out all of the little idea space uh, for the game. I finally got to the point where I've, I've carved out in a niche for each of the seven of the Ashura. And uh, they've all been defined and they all have categories of demons that are associated with them. And uh, they all have their Asherah brands. So most of the things that players will interact with are done. The only thing that I need to do now is create the techniques for them. And um, that's been interesting. Uh, the technique trees for them are bigger than the normal styles in Lone Wolf Fist because these are titanic super gods. So obviously they've got more moves than just the the, the sets that, uh, that, a, that one style would encompass. But they are too focused to have more than one style. I, I contemplated the idea of simply giving each of them two styles itself. And um, I realized that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I wanted each style that they had to be its own style, one complete thing. Not two halves of the same thing. That's kind of like making two different characters for what is effectively one big monstrous character. So they, they, I rejected that idea really early to the process, and I, I designed this kind of hybrid style where you simply have way more techniques, and if you take all of them, you wind up getting all the way to the top of your uh, your tree. So that was my, that was my compromise. Uh, and it has it has begun to pose some interesting challenges. Um, however, I find that the general approach that I used for the style still works because we really have three prongs. Oh, excuse me. Offense, defense, and the special trick. Now, not every style adheres to that exactly, but that's a very general um, template that you can use for filling out your own styles. Offense, defense, trick. The offense tree is, you know, a uh, novice, novice, uh, expert master and then supreme um or novice novice expert master and then uh the, the defense and offense they, they might have been the same thing and then whatever trick it is generally the style the style supreme technique is based on the trick whatever the theme is you know if it's a water bending style then you'll have water bending at the top you know if it's like some kind of sagely immortal style um then you know immortality would be at the top if it's you know, like that's that's the basic thing. It's a psychic style, then some kind of big psychic attack is at the top. So that's pretty easy when it comes to these styles. Because of the way I've made the Ashura, they have three supreme techniques each, and then they have another technique that's even beyond supreme and an ultimate technique, if you will. Um, which I might even call something different. I might call it like a titanic technique or something like that, although I'm not a big fan of that alliteration. That's a little goofy. But uh, but yeah, maybe I may even call it like an Ashura level technique. And what that does for players is it allows them to be that Ashura once per campaign arc. They just get the whole shebang. They get all the powers. Um, they, get to they get to take that whole chunk of the setting, that whole big seventh the demon realm, and just go ape shit with it for an action scene of like intense and consequential coolness. So, so yeah, you get to be Godzilla um, once every campaign arc. So enjoy that. Those techniques, however, I wanted to put them outside of the paradigm um, of karma entirely. I just don't think that you can do that with karma. I think each one is going to have its own like quest you have to go on after you totally master the style and then after you go on the quest then and only then uh if you succeed do you get to master that final supremely awesome technique um and and you get to actually be a living part of the setting so that's what's going on with them that's half the book <laughs> that is half of the book that I need to do. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm just taking those three prongs and I'm saying, okay, obviously offense defense trick isn't going to work for beings as weird as the Ashura. So I really am taking the, the descriptions of them I've made and I'm saying, okay, 
what are three cool um, aspects of this being, this like titanic landscape sized monster that I want to explore? Because the Ashra are interesting. They, they have a lot in common with the Yozis of Exalted in that they're not just landscape and they're not just titans. They're also like social phenomena and like cosmic principles and like sociological concepts and like governmental structures they're all kinds of things that are like way bigger than just like a big dragon made of shadows like it, it means something to be the ebon dragon beyond being a big titan right when you go across the sky it's night and there's like all this sin and debauchery and evil that happens in your wake you know, like, there's just more to all of the Yozis in this. And there, there are stronger and weaker Yozis, you know. Um, I think the weakest ones are the ones that are basically just a big monster. It's like, oh, Sazorni is a warthog and he big. Okay, cool. Great. Um, oh, wait, no. Am I thinking of a different guy? Whatever. The big warthog guy. Maybe Sazorni is the forest and there's a different one that's the warthog. I forget what the warthog is called. I might have that right. It's been a long time since Exalted, guys. Um, but, like, Kim Berry is really cool. See the March Against the Flame. She's cool. Uh, she Who Lives in Her Name is a fascinating one. She's not landscapey enough for my liking. My favorite one is still Malpheus. It's a straight-up fucking city. My least favorite is Adderjan. Boo. Red Wind That Kills You. Wow, what a great fucking character. That sucks. Um, so, yeah. But, but okay. At their best. At their malpheus ist um, the Yozis are really cool. So I'm taking the stuff I love and I'm, I'm turning that up to 11 and I'm taking the stuff I don't like and I'm throwing it in the garbage where it fucking belongs. And I'm taking, you know, three chunks of each one of these things I've designed. Like, for example, uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm finishing up, um, Ravana, which is my answer to Malpheus. He's the big demon city. Um, and what his three paths wound up being were like, crazy offense berserk kung fu turning into a giant statue uh like a living statue uh and commanding people to do stuff and forcing them to obey with magic mind control but also he kind of got like being able to summon and command acid i guess he get to do that and, like, I've just sort of mixed in all these, like, old-school Yahweh biblical miracles that he can just do. Because, like, I always liked the comparison of Malpheus to old-school Yahweh. I thought that was really kind of delightful. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, right now where I'm stuck is I've got... Uh, I'm at his master level techniques, right? And there's only... Oh, wait, no. No, yeah, I'm at it master level techniques. Because it goes six novice six expert for these guys and then three master three supreme and then one ultimate uh i might change that name so i'm at the masters and i'm realizing that i i am trying to combine concepts that don't really fit together super well uh because i've got on the one hand i've got like the berserk offense kung fu which is really cool and on the other hand i've got the commanding acid which is really cool and i can't really do both here I don't want to have, like, one tier that is skipped. Like, I don't want to have, like, Berserk here in Master and then then Acid in, in the Supreme. I don't want that. What I want is to, like, mesh concepts where possible, you know. But uh, I'm not sure how to mesh the Berserk offense with the Acid thing. Like, I feel like each one of those is conceptually distinct enough. It deserves its own Master Level technique. So... Um, I am, I'm trying to combine it such as that you can command acid and then turn it into like a particular kind of attack where you like shoot it as like hot plasma at people. That feels like a pretty, pretty, uh, Ravana y thing to do. So, you know, anyway, we're coming up on our 10 minutes. I just wanted to tell you where I was in the writing and that you should still be looking forward to February. That's when I'm trying to release this thing. I, I want the writing to be complete by then. So we're, we're sketching out some of the big concept stuff of the techniques, and we're going to be f making skeletons of those this weekend and then filling them out over the coming weeks. Hopefully, once the bulk of that writing is done, we will have um, some an actual setting chapter. I hate writing setting, but it's unfortunately necessary this time because of how weird uh, Naraka is. Um, I want a, a bestiary with the monsters, with the demons. I wouldn't mind doing an armory. 
Um, I don't have any real inspiration for what's going to go in it, though, so I might skip that just because I, I don't know what to put in the fucking hell army. Um, let's see. And that'll be that'll be the demon half of the book. So it's pretty much done. Uh, once I get those little chunks done, it's done. And then then we get to to work on the robot half of the book. Um, I've got a bunch of ideas. One of the great things about doing the demons first is that they have the turn to landscape charms and the turn to giant monster charms. And both of those, don't call them charms, uh, but both of those sets of techniques, not charms, uh, both of those things uh, dovetail really nicely design-wise into the turn into a larger robot, turn into a vehicle, turn into a chunk of the city um, techniques that the uh, the robots are going to wind up getting. So we we can reuse some of that that concept design uh, in that half of the book. So that's that's very useful. Uh, even stuff that I wouldn't think would transfer over, like the idea of the tulpas, which is whenever you become part of the landscape you, and you still want to have like a character running around, you create this like magical body for yourself called a tulpa, and it it does the the person scale stuff that you can't really do anymore because you're a building or whatever. Um, and that actually makes sense for the robots to do. They just make a little robot like drone of themselves. So they have their very own artificial tulpa. Um, so that's neat. Um, and that, that concept transfers over almost one to one. There's very little I have to do to transfer that over if indeed anything. So that's rad. So yeah, um, I have a feeling that the robot part of the book is going to be a little more concise. I think that I might be getting a little, I probably should have limited myself to something like four or five, of the uh, of the Ashura probably shouldn't have went with all seven, but they called out to me had to do it. I'm gonna limit myself to three nations, only three in the um in the robot half of the book. So hopefully I'll also be able to share like one overarching we have robot parts like power tree. I don't really know what I want to call it. It's not a tech. It's not it's not kung fu. It's not techniques. It's like just robot upgrades. I want like one really big one. Um, because I don't, I don't have case of exalted, like exalted does. I just have one, I just have artificial heroes. It's just one kind of thing. Same thing with the, same thing with the, the damned heroes. There's one kind, there's lots of power sets to draw off of, but you are one thing, you know? So it's a little different there. Um, I think that maybe there should be some regional variations based on the, um, the different, uh, the three different nations I have, uh, in Babel, Kim and R. um, Maybe, I don't know. And I definitely think there should be at least one Kung Fu style per, per nation. I would like to do two Kung Fu styles per nation uh, for a total of six, uh, like, Panzer Kunst X-esque uh, from Battle Angel Alita Kung Fu styles, where, like, it's a combination of, like, being a robot and using your own cert sort of, like, martial arts based off of the, like, having artificial bits. Mostly because I really like the idea of characters who are not artificial heroes but have who have artificial limbs being able to use those styles i find that to be a very appealing notion um so i will probably make a prerequisite for a lot of these that you have to have some sort of robotic limb of some variety so that if you have that kind of artificial limb or if you're an artificial hero then you can use that particular kind of move um and I want to make sure that the concept space between having the artificial limb and the kind of powers it gives you or having a robot upgrade on that limb, the powers it gives you, is distinct from the Panzerkunst move of whatever variety you have that, like, gives you some special thing you can do with it. So that's that's kind of, that's sort of hard to do because it's, like, the whole idea of having a bazooka for an arm is that you shoot bazooka arm, like... That's what it does. You don't need a technique that lets you do that. You need a technique that does something else on top of that. And that's some interesting and unexplored design space that I'm going to, I guess, have to go to. So I suppose we'll see where, where I go with that. But that's the plan right now. Anyway, folks, um, I hope you've enjoyed this extra ASMR Fistiverse, uh, Fistmas edition of of the the 10-minute fist hour which is definitely a name I'm definitely keeping. It's not just going to be for this one. All the ones going forward are always going to be that 100% of the time. 100%. I'm never going to change it. This was such a good idea. It's so well thought out. Anyway, bye.